Hi guys. So long time I can't able to upload any video so very sorry. So today I teach to how to connect Laravel and Angular projects using API. So first I install Angular and Laravel project using command prompt port. So before create Laravel project you need to install XAMPP and Composer. Here I don't explain how to install XAMPP and Composer. You can google it. So Google and YouTube has ton of tutorial as how to do that. So now I type this command to create Laravel project. Composer. Space. Create. Project. Laravel backslash Laravel and then put your project name here I put backend as a my project name. And then press enter. So it has got a couple of times to install wait guys. So next we create an Angular project before we create an Angular project you need to install Node.js and Angular CLI. You can install it an easy way to Google it. Here I focused how to connect both two project using API. I think it is getting more time. So now our project down layout and in tallying. I pause my screen recode to few minutes to complete project installation. So Laravel project installation is finished now we can install our front end framework. So now I create an angular project using a new command. So now I create an angular project using a new command. So I need angular routing in my projector therefore I enter y to confirm it. Here I used scss to my project styling therefore I select scss to my project now our project is creating by angular cli. So now our angular project installation is finished. So now I open our two projects in using visual studio code. So now we need to open terminal in Visual Studio Code. Go to the terminal and then click New Terminal. Now I create a new controller by using this command PHP Artisan Make Controller API Controller. Here API Controller mean our controller name. In Laravel project, controllers are stored in this file path app HTTP controllers so controller folder we can see all controllers in the Laravel project. In our API controller, I create a function called getData. Inside our getData function, I put array and store car brand names in the array, so this code is actually doing return our data as a JSON array. After that, we need to create a route for our controller function so normally we create routes in the routes folder web.php file but at API level we create our routes in the routes folder api.php file, so we can learn more in reading Laravel document. After that, we need to create a route for our controller function so normally we create routes in the routes folder web.php file but at API level we create our routes in the routes folder api.php file so we can learn more in reading Laravel official documentation this video description I put those link especially this video is not designed for the Laravel beginners so now I go to the routes folder and in create new router for the our controller function in api.php file first we need to import our controller after that we can create our route for the api controller function. 
Now I create route using get method like this way. So you can learn on more about Laravel routing and reading Laravel official document. Before start Laravel localhost server now I type php artisan optimize command in my terminal to clear compiled costs in my Laravel project. Oops I think I make mistake in my api.php file. I miss a colon in my route. Again I type php artisan optimize command and php artisan serve command, php artisan serve command used to start our Laravel server and localhost. So now our Laravel project is running localhost, now we need to test our API is working correctly or not, so I used to postman to test our API URL. So Postman is open now we can test our API URL output. In Postman, select HTTP request type and insert our Laravel server URL path and now we can send request to our Laravel server, oops. I think I do some mistakes in my controller, let's time to check our controller. Oh I put dollar mark in return part let's remove dollar mark in here. Now again we can check it in postman. Oh, wow it is working you can see our controller array data in postman. Now time to connect our Laravel project and Angular project so now I open our Angular project. So first I run our fresh Angular project by using the ing serve command, so guys you can learn more about Angular framework by using Angular documentation and TypeScript's documentation this video description I put all Angular related links to read you to gather more knowledge. So it has got some time to frisk time serve. This is our blank Angular project. Now I clear everything in our app.component.html file. So I put heating tag in my app.component.html file. Now we need to import HTTP clinic module in our app.module.ts file. So let's go to our app.module.ts file and do changes in this file. So first need to import Angular HTTP clinic and header after that we need to add in module file imports like this.
So, most front-end applications need to communicate with a server over the HTTP protocol to download or upload data and access other back-end services. Angular provides a client HTTP API for Angular applications, the HTTP client service class and at Angular slash common slash HTTP. The HTTP client service offers the following major features. The ability to request typed response objects. Streamlined error handling. After that we need to go app.component.ts file and make some changes. First I add HTTP client as an import. First I create empty array called response to store our backend response data. Now I add constructor with HTTP clinit implementation. After that I add ing on init method to my ts file. Inside the ong init method I called our Laravel API URL like this way look at my code. So I put console.log command CR API output in the browser console. Cool you can see browser console shows our cars array data. Now time to show our console data on the web page again I go to app. Component ts file and user previous created response variable to do it follow me. Cool you can see our car's name and web page, now you guys have basic idea about how to use these thing, thanks for watching.